Hello there friends, welcome back to tutorial on next time. So today we will learn the new topic which is the cavity milling operation in the next time. So this is the three axis is cavity milling, the roughing operation. So the cavity milling is located in the here in when you open the operation, the create operation. So you have to select the mill counter in the type and we will learn that this operation, the, this uh, cavity milling. So this is the for the roughing operation, mostly for the making of the the roughing operation with the cavities of the dice, castings, and the forging. So after the cavity milling operation, after this operation, the material is to remove uh, remain it. So it is the roughing operation. So in the cavity milling operation, the the mostly the the we will use the the flat mill tool. So uh, so for the beginning, we will uh, firstly uh, define our the workpiece and coordinate system. So in order to define the coordinate system, you have to select here in the view option is the geometry view as selected in my cases and uh, double click on the coordinate system and the dynamic coordinate system is generated like this. And you can uh, specify the zero point uh, the your workpiece, for example, the this point or the, this point, any point like this. So the press OK to accept the zero point. So this is our reference zero point. Now let's define the, the workpiece. In order to define the workpiece, double click the workpiece. And here in the this menu, the in the specify the part, click to this icon and the select your the workpiece. So the workpiece selected here, the press OK and uh, display this and uh, to see the the, your the workpiece. So this is our the workpiece, the final the workpiece here. Now we need to specify the the blank and in order to specify the blank, click to this one. And uh, here in the type we'll use the, the blank of the boundary the block and uh, we will the keep the values here the let's make it zero and this is our the blank geometry and accept it by the pressing OK. So to see that the blank, the display. So here, the, our the blank geometry. And here we can specify the material. So the, by default is the carbon steel, but we can specify the by over the material by the clicking this one. And here the, you can see in the library the several type of the materials. And the, let's we will use the steel for this the operation and press the this steel type for example press ok and here you see the material type is changed and uh, just press ok uh, accept that this all the input parameters as the workpiece the geometries the length geometry and the zero point of the workpiece so we defined our the, the initial setup for the operation now we will create a tool for the cavity milling operation as i mentioned that we will use the flat the mill and mill for the cavity. So in order to create the tool, press here the create the tool, and here the select the mill counter, and here the select the mill, and the, here we can define the name of the tool. For example, let's write for the cavity mill, and just press OK. And here the tool is created with the diameter of the 30 millimeter. You can specify the diameter but the, as you want. Uh, the availability of the tools you have, for example, let's make it 20 millimeter. And there is other parameters for the, this tool. You can define the source, the, the material. So in this case, the high speed steel. So let's uh, define the number of the tools is the one, the first tool. And here you can create the shank like this, activating the defining shank. Here you see you can create the holder. So now press OK here to accept. So we create a tool now. We will start to create the operation. Here select the create operation. Here select the mill counter. So cavity mill. So in general, we have several the roughing operations. For example, starting from the cavity mill and the adaptive milling and the plunge milling and here we have the corner rough so so most for the 
the roughing operation, these four operations. So step by step, we will see the, all of them in the next lecture. So the, this is the first operation, the most commonly used so for the roughing operations, the cavity milling. So we will use the, today the, this operation. So selected in the location. So let's locate it is inside of the program. So the tool, we will select our tool which we created so that tool that for the milling, the cavity milling. So 20 millimeter diameter. Here in the geometry, it's important to define the workpiece because by defining the workpiece, we know that our the stock and the workpiece in zero point, which we already defined it in the geometry view and in the method. So it is the roughing operation. So we will select the roughing. So after that, this operation, some materials are made for the further finishing operation. So this is the setup for the operation. So here you can define the name as usual. So I will keep by default, it's cavity mill and press OK. And you will forward the menu for the, the cavity mill here. And here, the, what is the important? So it's important to specify the part. So since here in the geometry, the work piece is already selected in the initial setup. So the part is already definitely selected in the in, the, in in this case, so you can display it. And the same way the blank is already the specified. So here you can see the blank. So this is the, what is important in two parameters important in the cavity milling. So these two must be the specified and it is the automatically specified. If it's not automatically specified, you can define by the manual. But however, since if you put here the work piece, it defines automatically. So this is the two important parameters to work the properly of the cavity milling operation. And here, uh, next operation, next is in, in input is to specify the cut area. So in the, some specific cases, you can define the cut area by manually defining the faces. So in this case, we will keep the, we, we will just skip the, this operation, but in the next operation, we'll see. So here the system defines to remove this, the stock value. So automatically by defining these two parameters as the part and blank. And the next is the tool. Tool is already defined and uh, this, okay. Tool exists along the that axis, so it's okay. So the, it's a roughing operation, it means that if you go to the edit, so that this one millimeter, the part stock will be the remained after this cavity milling operation. So you can define this well by yourself, how much material you want to the remain after the roughing operation. By default, I will keep one millimeter. So this represents number of the material that is the remained after the, 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 the operation, this operation, just press OK. Here, uh, the cat pattern. So there is uh, several cat patterns. So let's use the zigzag for this operation. So we will uh, remove the material uh, along the x-axis in the zigzag direction. So in the both direction, remove and the percent of the flat diameter. So it is in the step over. It is the step over along the y-axis of the tool. Let's keep it 50%. And uh, we, can, uh, we can change this value, but we will see. And here the maximum distance. So this is the maximum distance that's the removal of the material along the, the Z axis. So it's a six millimeter. You can define it several options as well of or with the with the constant. So constant value four. Let's make it four in this case. So and just uh, uh, press here the generate to see the, our the tool pass initial tool pass so you see this is our the cavity milling operation this is the user to remove the material on the this side we can uh, see the simulation just verify it and let's set uh, dynamic in here let's make fine and uh, let's make it the decrease the animation speed and just press the play to see the, our the result.
So animation started. It took some period. So it started to remove the material on the this side. So in the roughing operation. So we define at the maximum depth as the four. So it define the uh, removes every the four millimeter as a maximum value. So you can uh, increase the animation speed. So it is removing the blank on the this side. So that is the remaining the material. It's the one millimeter on the surface. It is surface. So this is the how is the correct milling operation is to perform it. So after the correct milling, so you need to make some finishing operation as well to remove the, all the, the remaining material. And uh, this is just initial setup. So you can make some analysis on the cut levels. For example, uh, let's press the cut level. So what does it mean the cut level? So it's the levels, it's the planar levels, for example. Here you can see the in the cut level. So in the list, there is, in this case, automatically defines for the cut levels. So what does it mean? The, let's say I select the first cut level. This is the, you see, this, the, the range is in the, this millimeter. So uh, in the here, this, uh, this planner face, and this is the second cut level. So here, this is the this planner face. So the distance of the 57 millimeter, and this is the third cut planner. So this is the this planner face, and the last one is the this cut planner. This is the the bottom face of the, our the workpiece. So in general, in this operation, the cavity mill defines automatically for the cut level. So and you see the for the cut levels, it defines exactly the, the automatically for the planar faces. So for the planar, so you see that this is the planar face, and this is the planar face, not not the counter faces. So it defines the planar face automatically. And here you see the depths per cut. So it uh, represents the the the, the depths per cut for the each cut levels. For in general, it is the constant for which we define it uh, here. Uh, this value it defines automatically, but uh, let's go to the cut level again. And this value you can uh, change the manually, and you can define the separate uh, depths per cut for the each cut level. For example, in order to do this, you can uh, you can the, the change this value. For example, if you want to make uh, the some accurate uh, rough operation in the sum cut level. In the range of depth, so you can uh, define, for example, for that position for the cut for that cut level, some the smaller value of the depth per cut. For example, let's make it two, and you see it becomes two. And in this period, in this second range, so it will remove the maximum two millimeters. So it will make some more smoother operation. And by manual, you can define that this all the the depth cut so in addition you can manually define by yourself this range depth for example in this case it is the this value so you can define by yourself selecting any faces the planner faces for example you can define this value you see it changes to the this one so uh, you can define by yourself for example if you change this one to the this value so it defines here this value and this is the second value. So in this case, you see how the cut range is changed to the two. So in the previous automatically it was the four. So let's cancel it and go to the cut level again. And it will begin again for here. This uh, initial default value. So it automatically defines the the NX gives the most uh, the most uh, that good solution for this so but anyway just you can define its manual as i said before and you can in that put the value here the exact value by yourself manually or by selecting the here the, the planner faces and here you can define the any the cut depths by yourself so individually so we will keep here the this for the range as by default that is defined by the software to, for, to accept it. So this is the, the tool pass that's cut level in the 
the in the in the, in the cavity milling operation so this was the cavity milling operation and here you see the two pass the cut pattern was the zigzag so in the this form and you can make it for example the just a zig in the one direction so uh, here let's make it the generate so you see it is the in the one direction and this red uh, the tool pass represents non-cutting movement so it removes the material in the one direction and uh, go to up and go to the, the initial direction it removes all the material in the only the one direction so it is the zig form in the zig form you will uh, waste the time as usual so because it uh, takes time to returning in the initial position so in the in the zigzag form you will remove the material in the both direction so you will the win the time so you will uh, decrease the machining time in the, this kind of the cut pattern the form so in addition you can use the other forms for example for the cavity milling for example the follow periphery let's see the generated in this case you see the there is the less the idling movement so there is the, no any the red lines so uh, and let's the generate to see the result press the play you see it start to the from the center and going to the outward to the system so you can also the, the solution this cut pattern the better solution okay this one also could be the better solution anyway it removes the, the, the remaining material one millimeter since it is rough in operation so we can stop the simulation it's okay so here it's okay and the, this is our the cavity milling operation you can see you can define the by yourself if you need uh, this work piece for the as a reference to make the cavity mill write to me and uh, i will send by email of the, this work piece thank you very much see you on the next tutorials